Hi and welcome to my maths class. Today we're going to do lines of regression. Now what is a line of regression? A line of regression, if you look at the specific scatter plot diagram, what you would notice is that there is no way I can draw any single line and touch all the dots. So if I were to draw a line there and touch that dot, perhaps in that way I can touch one or two dots, but there is no way that the line can touch all of the dots at a time. Sometimes it will touch one or two, but it doesn't touch all the dots. So what we do is we determine an equation of regression. Now, an equation of regression is a line that if you draw through it, it will be more or less around all the dots. So it would kind of be in the center and it will kind of be touching quite a bit of the dots. But what you notice is the distance between the lines are quite near. So they are all within the area of the line. Now how do you determine the equation of regression? The equation of regression, if you look on your calculator, you're going to press mode and you're going to go to 2. But what you're looking at is the sum that looks like this. If you look at it, you can see it on your calculator, a plus bx. Okay, now a represents the y-intercept and B basically represents the gradient of the line. Now how do we do this? You're going to press mode, you're going to press 2 and then you're going to press 2. You're looking specifically for this on your calculator. So you press 2. So on my calculator it is 2. Then you're going to have a column that says X and Y and if you have your frequency on it has frequency but you can just ignore that column. Now the first column is what you're going to press X. So you're going to press 1 equals, 2 equals, 3 equals, 4 equals, 5 equals, 6 equals, 7 equals, 8 equals. What happens is your calculator moves down. Now once you press equals, you're going to go up again till your 1 and then you're going to press right. So now we're under the Y column. Under the Y column, we're going to press 36 equal, 108 equal, 137 equal, 183 equals, 195 equals, 233 equals, 270 equal, 300 equal. Then you're going to press your AC. You're going to press Shift 1. Now under that, you're going to look at the one that says REG, regression. So you're going to press 5 and then it will tell you number 1 is for A, Number one, two is for B. Number three, you're going to do later. But those are the three that we use. So what we're pressing first is we want to know what is A. So you're going to press one equals and it will tell you that A is 24,29, rounded off. It's 24,285, but we're going to round it off to 24,29. Then you're going to press AC again, shift one, five, but now you're going to press number 2 because we want B. And then it's going to tell us that B is equal to 35,21. So what is our equation? Our equation is going to be 24,29 plus 35,21x. So what is the equation of regression going to equal to? We're going to say the equation of regression is equal to 24,29 plus 35,21x. Remember, it is a straight line graph. So what you usually know it as is y is equal to mx plus c. Okay, so if you look, there's your m, your x, and there's your c. What we have done, we had got the equation of regression. Now they ask you to draw the line of regression. So they are asking you to basically draw, draw this line. That's what I'm going to do. Now, if you want to draw this line, if I take any random x point, let's say I'm going to take, I'm going to take 2. So you're going to substitute when you're drawing the, the line of regression. So number 1, you're going to get random coordinates. Now how do you get the random coordinates? Simply by substituting into the formula, into the equation that you had already worked out. And number two, which is very important, is that you must get the mean of x and the mean of y. And you must make sure that you pass that specific point. So when we're drawing this graph, we're going to try and get a low point. So let's say we work on 
0 0.5. So we're going to say 24.29 plus 35.21 into 0.5. Close brackets equals to 41,9. Okay, so my coordinate is a half and basically around 41 or 42 if we were rounding it off. And then we're going to look for like a high. So let's say 8.5. So you don't need to retype the entire thing in your calculator. You use your arrow, you go back and you put 8.5 and we got around 323,5. So around 8.5 we're looking at 323. So if we got 8.5 and then we've got 324, you can say. Now, those are just two points that we have. Then we are going to look for the mean of the first and the mean of the second. Now, how do we do mean? Mean is your previous work of grade 11, which is under variance, where you simply put in your information. If you are not sure how to calculate mean on your calculator, you need to go back. Now, the mean of 1 to 8 is 4,625. So my x mean is 4,625. And then what is my y? So again you try and use your calculator. You need to learn to use your calculator because it allows you to work faster. Right? And using your calculator we get it as 182,75. So we're going to try and plot this one also. So we've got around 4, let's say 4,6. And then we've got about 180 something, which means 182. Remember, we are still, because it's an estimate, it doesn't have to be 100% accurate, but we try to make it as close as possible. Now, then you take a ruler and you draw your line. Now, you know that it's going to cut here around 24, because remember, I had previously said that this is your y-intercept, but you should know that from your normal x-intercept, y-intercept and drawing of straight lines in grade 9. And then you take a ruler and you draw a straight line between that. And if you see, then the straight line is basically covering these three points and that would be the line of regression. Now, how does this line help us? The line of regression helps us determine how many sweets will be sold in the future. Now, if you were to continue this line and you continued the graph, you could read it off the graph, but more favored is you know that she is referring to x is 12. So what we do is we simply take the equation and we substitute 12 into the equation. So y is going to equal to 24,29 plus 35,21 times 12. So you don't need the drawing to make future predictions. So to make future predictions, all we're going to do is we're going to substitute into the formula that we had calculated and you would be able to say, okay, so on the 12th day, she's probably going to sell about 447 sweets. Why am I saying 447 sweets? Because you don't sell sweets in halves. So you'll say 447 sweets. That is the prediction. Okay. Now, what you must remember is that sometimes when you have scatter plots, can you see this specific one? This one clearly is not running within the data that we have. So which one is it? It is number three. So when you have outliners, outliners must not be entered into the data. Now the reason for that is because when you put the outliner in, if you have a line of regression and your line of regression is fairly near most of the data, what happens when you have an outliner? Now remember, when you have an outliner, we've discussed this in grade 10, an outliner increases the average, which means it's going to move my line up. So make sure that when you have outliners, make sure that you do not enter the data into the calculator and you do not include it into the drawing. Thank you for watching.